when you're going to plow your horse, uh, always practice it before. Um, first of all, to see how many plats you're going to get in. Um, but most importantly, to make sure your horse will stand still. There's nothing worse when you're in a rush in the morning and your horse will not stand still and you're trying to plat it. So when you're first um, teaching your horse to stand to be platted, get somebody to help you to make sure he stands still. Um, but after a couple of times, they should just stand on their own. Um, to plat, uh, we like this quick braid. Uh, it makes it really quick. You don't have to damp the mane. You just spray this on. Also, as well, make sure your horse is used to sprays. So, um, if I was going to plat with elastic bands, I would use that spray. Uh, the other thing is the length of your mane before you plat. That's another reason to have a practice at platting. Um, some people like to plat with manes quite short. Um, some like it a bit longer. I like it a little bit longer. Um, the reason for that is I like to build his neck up on top and if you have a longer mane you can push it up a bit and it gives him a better neck. Also if your horse has a short neck put in more plaits. If its neck's a bit long you can put in fewer plaits. But more plaits on the neck will make a neck look longer. Um, the other thing is as well, uh, which we're going to do in a minute, um, you clip a bridle path here which is where your bridle's going to fit. Don't make that too big. Um, people get carried away and they end up with it halfway down the horse's neck. You literally just want to clip a little bit at the top. Right. So we'll divide up a bit of his mane. About that much. Um, I'll obviously divide it into three and plot it. Um, the thing to do is to plait it quite tight, and you do that by holding your thumb on top. So you plait it all the way down. Fold it up, fold it down halfway, fold the loose bits back up, get your elastic band, put it over the top, twist it around a couple of times. Then having your band above it, roll the plait up into his neck, and with the elastic band up, twist it. Put it over the top, twist it again, and put it over the top again. Then I would put another band on the top. Also, make sure you've got the band the right colour. You see that's a pale band, so that doesn't look nice. You want the dark band. Uh, and you'll see that that actually looks quite neat, even though it's done an elastic band. And if that was with a dark band, you wouldn't see that at all. Right, you get your needle and some thread. Thread it quite long, not too long, otherwise it gets tangled up. Try a little knot in the end, right near the end. And you spray some of the quick braid on. Put the needle in your mouth, but don't swallow it. <laughs> The trick is to get it really tight, otherwise it all falls to bit. You just press it down. And you'll see as well, if you press it, you'll get it quicker. So you should be able to pot up in about 10-15. And then when you get right to the bottom of your plait, hold it really tight with your finger and thumb. Get your needle, push it up from the underneath, don't pull it too fast, and then stop when it gets to your knot. And then you wrap it around about three times around the bottom of the plait. And stitch it down a few times, keep it nice and tight. a few 
Thread your needle back through again. You pull your knot off at the top. And then it's not picking out the bottom of your part. 